Hey folks, I'm Philippi and welcome to a new series on the channel. We are playing EU4 for the first time on this channel, but it's not new to me as a game. This is a game I've played since it came out and uh, played a lot of previous iterations of it. First getting into Paradox Game actually through the old um, Crusader Kings game, Crown of the North, but then quickly moving into the original EU uh, Universal Universal Palace games early on. Uh, playing the first game and then EU2 and then EU3 and now all the way up to EU4. But I haven't played this game in forever. Uh, the last time I played this game is when I bought the uh, third Rome DLC way back when. Uh, and as you can see, there's nine other DLCs that have come after that. So it's been quite a while. So while I have a lot of uh, hours in this game, I don't have a lot of experience with what the game's current iteration is like. So we'll have to bear with me as I relearn the game, remembering what I knew from old, as well as learning all the new mechanics that exist in the game since I played it last. I do love the uh, Universalis games. Um, they have such wonderful music. It's a great map painting game. It's a really cool, high level strategy game that is different than both Solaris and Crusader Kings, the other two Paradox games that I probably play the most of. Um, those two games have a much heavier aspect on the role-playing aspect of the game, as well as micromanaging all the way down to like little stuff uh, in your empire and personal relationships in CK, uh, in the Crusader Kings series, um, stuff like that. Uh, exploration and uh, tech discovery in um, uh, in um, Stellaris is important, whereas the EU4, those things take a sort of backseat to uh, grand uh, strategy, map painting, alliances, creating, um, sort of creating vassals and personal unions and all that kind of stuff, uh, which is great about EU4. And then eventually the colonial game, which is really cool. Uh, even though the real history of colonialism is kind of awful, it is fun to play it in this game, uh, nonetheless. Um, so we are the Duchy of Burgundy in the 1444 start, which uh, I thought was a good pick because Burgundy is sort of that sort of middle ground between easy and hard for nations you can play. Um, it's got a lot of advantages as a, uh, a nation being fairly large, having some vassals and so on, and we'll see all that stuff in a minute, but it is stuck in the middle of a bunch of large powers and it's in a very kind of fragile situation, so you have to navigate that. So I thought it'd be a good way for me to get my, uh, my feet wet again in this game. Uh, so let's talk about Burgundy. We'll read through this little uh, lore history here so we understand who Burgundy is and what their situation is, and then uh, we'll get to uh, our opening moves for Burgundy in this game. So the Burgoyne branch of the Valois dynasty not only rules the Duchy of Burgundy, a de jure uh, French possession, but also a significant part of the Low Countries, Vermandois and the County of Nevers. In uh, a short time, they have created a realm that straddles some of the richest parts of France and the Holy Roman Empire. Taken together, the Dukes of Burgundy can command an enormous wealth. These economic resources have been used by Philip III, uh, the Good, to expand the influence uh, of his family even further, acquiring title after title along the Meuse and the Rhine in an attempt to connect his realm. Well, France has spent the last century being torn asunder in the ongoing feud between the English and French claimants to the French throne, Burgundy has grown to be a cultural and economic center of Western Europe. Nowhere are the knightly ideals of the late Middle Ages as alive as in, in Burgundy, with great tournaments, grand feasts, and of course the Order of the Golden Fleece itself, a knightly order created by the Duke aspiring to recreate the knighthood of the Arthurian legends and Greek myths. The Burgundian court also dominates fashion and art, with fortunes being spent on silk paintings and fantastic illuminated manuscripts. The Duchy of Burgundy already rival many kingdoms in influence, income, and even military might. By playing off the English and French against each other, the dukes have for a long time been practically independent. De jure, however, the dukes remain both subjects to France and the Holy Roman Empire. With the Hundred Years' War nearing what looks like its conclusion, the future of the duchy seems uncertain. If it continues its meteoric rise, 
Burgundy could be the embryo of a new kingdom, a strong state in the middle of Western Europe. But the dukes have also gained many enemies in this short time. Should Philip and his successors play their cards right, there may be a crown in their future. But that requires taking risks and might well cost them everything, potentially reducing their glorious domain to a footnote in the annals of history. Fun fun. So of course we are Catholic, which gives us a bunch of bonuses, including are all our Catholic provinces like us better and uh, easier time converting religions we can consider heathens, interacting with the Pope, the Pope gets to decide New, York, New World regions, colonial regions, and um, there will of course be the Reformation at some point we'll have to deal with. We are of course a monarchy, although we are a dukedom, we do have uh, heirs that uh, get um, designated and regency councils and all that kind of stuff. And lastly, uh, we are um, uh, entwined with the Holy Roman Empire. I don't think Burgundy is a member of the Holy Roman Empire. Can't quite remember. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, but there's lots of stuff here. If we attack the Holy Roman Empire, uh, we could get attacked by uh, the Emperor and his defense. Uh, any land that we take from Holy Roman Empire, people could get unlawful territory. Uh, demand on us to return that territory to the Holy Roman Empire, and so on and so forth. Eventually, maybe we'll become the Emperor. We'll talk about those plans in a minute as well. But first, let's take a look at the State of the Union. So we are a country in this wonderful sort of purpley, reddy color. One might even call it burgundy. Um, and we have this main area down here around our capital of the in Dijon. Um, yes, that's where the mustard originally comes from, Dijon. And uh, we have this little separate territory here in Luxembourg, as well as the uh, the lower part of the lowlands, we call it maybe the low lowlands, uh, which is sort of all French-speaking part of this uh, area. This is sort of modern-day France. Over here in Artois and Picardy, and over here in Hainaut and Namur is uh, uh, part of modern-day Belgium. The French-speaking is part of it, along with some other territories here that are part of that as well. Uh, and we also have a number of subjects. So we have three personal unions here. In Holland, uh, Flanders, and Brabant, um, they're all subjects under us, junior partners, and as well as we have a vassal over here in Nevers. Um, so that's quite a few subjects. And as Burgundy, we get many, many um, diplomatic relations. And one thing I want to do immediately is increase that number of diplomatic relations. So if we go over to our estates, if I can remember which one that is, that's this one. Uh, we can pick up some stuff here to do that. So let's start off with some of these. I think in nobility we can pick up strong duchies. Yeah, gives us plus two diplomatic relations and the liberty desire of our subjects goes down by 10. Absolutely good. And we'll talk about why that's good in just a second because it allows us to complete a mission. Um, and then we also want uh, some religious stuff. Um, I've been looking through these before. The religious state is good. Monthly administrative power. I think that's a good idea. Let's grab that. Um, let's also get religious diplomats, maybe. Diplomatic relations plus one, yeah. Opinion of same religion, yeah. Yeah, let's get diplomatic relations as well. That's a good one. Uh, and I think we'll leave it there for now, but we should also seize some land, so let's do that to make our percentage here better. Anything else here I wanted? Maybe the loans here? I'm indebted to the burgers. Take five loans. I think that's a good idea too. We'll do that. Give it some money. And it's a really low interest rate of only 1%, so it's pretty good. Let's pick some rivals, of course. Uh, so we definitely want to rival France. They hate us, we hate them. They're big meanies. Let's rival England, even though we have a mission to make friends with England. They hate us as a rival, so let's hate them back. And unfortunately, Aragon hates us as well, 
even though they'd be a good ally against France. Maybe we can kick Castile on our side, we'll see. Uh, but we should probably rival either Savoy over uh, not Savoy. Savoy is over here, this little pink guy. Uh, because there's a couple of territories here that we can get or have cores on. I can't remember if we already have them or not, if they're in a mission. Um, and um, Provence over here, because these two territories we'd like as well, and I believe this is a Provence vassal. And they control some territory down here as well. Uh, uh, let's do Provence. That's good there. Uh, let's think about allies. Let's ally the Emperor. I think that's a good choice. Uh, let's ally Castile if they're willing. They are not. Because they are neutral towards us and they don't like our army and navy strength. Alright. Uh, anybody else want to be my ally? Let's take a look over here. I do love this feature in here, that they have this. Um, who else would be an ally if I wait one day? There we go. Whole bunch of nobodies. Scotland is not that useful. Really, there isn't anybody who's super useful, so I think I'm just going to try and improve relations with Castile. So let's, uh, relations, let's improve relations here, and maybe they'll change their mind about us. Let's build up some troops, too. We have a cap of 22, I believe. Uh, how do we see that here? There we go. Yeah, 16 of 22. So let's build uh, so that's six more. Uh, let's take this up to eight, so we'll build four here. And in this one, let's build two more. That's good, that'll get me a little bit further on. Let's sell some of our boats. Uh, I'm going to need a diplomat for that in a second. Uh, let's finish this. Once we complete this, what happens? Get permanent claims in the rain area, perfect. That's done. And I'll come back to the missions in just a second to talk about them. But let's get our boat sold, because we don't need all this boat. So we'll work on this. So we'll build we'll knock one of these, and then we'll knock out this guy, and then we'll knock out two of these, and then we'll knock out two of these, and then we'll take this last one, and uh, we'll leave it like that, I guess, two, two, and whatever. I think Holland would like a boat. I wait the seven days. Let's put this at speed two at least. Get some days going here. Perfect. Um, economic activity, sell ships. You would like one of these, wouldn't you? You would not. Okay, what about you? What about uh, Breda here? I want this to be 50. No. Okay, what about uh, one of these fleets? No. Would you like the... Anybody like my transports? None of you would, alright. What about Burgundy here? Or Castile, would you like some fleets? I can't sell anything to you, that's my rival. What about you? Sell ships? You wouldn't mind some transports, you wouldn't like two, you're only gonna give me ten. What about this guy? You would give me that, but you don't have the money for anything else. What about Scotland? Would you like a ship? You would. Would you sell it for 50? You would not. You would sell it for 40 though, so let's do that. We'll get that guy out of the way. We do have low crown authority, but uh, we'll fix that in a second. We do have loans, that's okay. 
Uh, we probably want to pick an advisor here. Uh, morale of armies is a good one so we can get this tech faster. And let's concentrate on military tech as well. Our leader is very good, but our heir is not, which is unfortunate. And our consort is not too bad, but she is embezzling, which is causing me to have corruption. I don't know if that applies. I can't... I, yeah, I don't know if that applies. Well, they're just a consort and not their regent or ruler. We'll have to see. Um, Spain, have you changed your mind about me? Yeah, you don't like France. We have mutual enemies, don't we? We do. You sure you don't want to be a... Uh, an ally? You're thinking about it. Go to the end of the the days here, and we can sell something else off. There we go. Who else would buy these ships? Uh, Sweden might. Can I sell ships to you? I can. Would you buy this? You would for 30, but not 40. What about this? You would for 10. What about Norway? You would for 10. Well, let's sell these off for 10, I guess. To Norway. Let's check our... Uh, our vassals again, now that we've had a, a tick of... Um, stuff. Oh, we should put our army maintenance down, actually, while I'm thinking of it. Which one is that? That's this one. Army maintenance to zero. Uh, we should get our fleet of these guys doing a mission protecting trade in the English Channel, please. Set that up. Uh, we should insult France, so let's do that. That'll give me some power protection. And let's insult the UK as well. Just a regular insult here. And that should give us another mission. Here we go. Papal relations. No. English alliance is done. It'll give me improved relations plus 25. Sounds great. Let's do that. We'll see about selling some ships off here. Uh, Savoy has been excommunicated. We may take those territories off of Savoy. I do not want an alliance with Savoy. I'm going to attack you, actually. Uh, let's see if these guys have any money now for ships. Would you like this ship? You would, but you can't afford it. Would you like this? You would, but you can't afford it. What about you? No. No. What about you? No. No. What about you? Wood for 20, that's not enough. You would buy them for 20, so let's do that. Nevers would like a royal marriage, yes please. Austria, would you like a royal marriage? You would. In Spain, how are you feeling about me now? Oh, that's too bad you're allied to my enemy. What 
We got a new cardinal. That's excellent. That'll help me uh, build papal favors much more quickly. Um, do you want to buy ships yet? Now that we're more friendly? You would buy a heavy. Perfect. Put that heavy out of here. Now we just have two more transports to get rid of. I really don't care who buys them. I'll probably just sell them to Norway or Sweden or something. Here, here. Uh, Lübeck. Would you like them? No. Sweden. You would for 10. Sounds great. Okay, that gets rid of all the useless ships, because we are not a ship nation, at least not yet. Uh, we do have our ships going. We're building some armies, which is excellent. Um, we want to go to France, war with France, pretty soon. I also want to make some more allies. Let's take a look at that. Who would be an ally with me who's decent? Not a ton of people here. Let's take a look at the HRE for a second. That's the Holy See, not the HRE. Let's see who the uh, electors are. So the HRE has a, a leader, an emperor. Right now it's Austria. But every time the leader dies, the electors, these people, elect a new leader. And you can see who they're voting for with a little shield below them. So Bohemia here is voting for Milan. Brandenburg is voting for uh, Austria. Mainz is voting for Hesse. Cologne is voting for Cleves. The, Palant the Palatinate is voting for Ansbach here. And Saxony is voting for Anhalt, and Trier is voting for Austria as well. Maybe we could ally Brandenburg or Bohemia. They might be good people. Let's check to see who Austria hates and who Austria likes. So Austria hates Bohemia, so we shouldn't be allied with Bohemia, and Bohemia hates Austria. Who are Austria's allies? Me, Württemberg, Munich, Landschut, and Ingolstadt. All right, some people I don't really care to be allies with because they're all just little guys. Who are you allied with, Castile? Aragon and Navarra. Again, not super useful. Do you have 26,000 soldiers? You have 8,000 soldiers. It's not particularly nice. What about Brandenburg? You have 9,000 soldiers. You get caught up in some wars over here that I may not want to get involved with. Hmm. Milan? You have 11k. You're not too bad. It's too bad that you declared me a rival. That's unfortunate. Although just barely. Maybe they'll reconsider. I'm not sure. Castile here, you really do like me, but uh, oh, you'd almost royal marry me. If I royal marry somebody, how much like does that give me? Another 25. So if I do plus 25... might change the neutral attitude, dropping 20 off, giving me 55 to overcome. That would be 30-something. 28, actually. Our naval strength is weak. We did increase our army strength, though. We have almost the same army strength as you, Castile. Don't be such a, a dink. Maybe we should hire a mercenary. I know I've seen some reviews that say hiring mercenaries is a good idea. 
early on, so maybe we can do that. If I can remember how to hire a mercenary, that would be good. Uh, religion, your stability. Nothing to do here. I don't have anything to do there. Let's take a look at our missions real quick while I think about how to do the mercenary stuff. Might be over here, actually. Um, so we have Integrate Never, so we'll do that eventually. We can't do that until um, uh, 1454. So we'll get there eventually. We did play Kate Salvador, so we can do Unite Realm. So Brabant does not exist, Flanders does not exist, Holland does not exist, and I own 10 provinces with uh, the following must be true. In Flanders, South Brabant, North Brabant, or Holland. So we'll get there eventually. Nevers will be one of them. Um, all the provinces in Lorraine are owned by me. So let's take a look. What does that say? There. So that's Metz, Lorraine, Barrois, and what's this one? Is that Verdun? Verdun. So I need these four provinces to complete this mission. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, Kingdom Divided. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that. And the League of the Public Wheel. So this is an interesting one. At least three, currently zero, of the French vassals have an opinion of at least 100% of mine. We can get them to join me in a war and they become my subjects after. That's kind of fun. East of Pheasants. Uh, we need Papal Relations, actually. To be... I need 50 papal influence. Okay, that'll be a little while. We can do secure the succession. We gotta wait for the um, crisis to uh, come and go, or wait until 1500. And then appease the estates. We might be able to get that done as well. We'll see. Conquer Liege. Yeah, lots of cool missions there. Uh, over here is their mercenaries. Those are regular troops. Naval units. Well, autonomy, change culture, buildings, development, states, diplomacy, exploit. No. Nobody wants to be my vassal. Oh, East Frisia is very close. I just click on a spot, can I hire mercenaries? Hire mercenaries, there we go. I found it. So we want a mercenary that's cheap. You're pretty cheap. You're fairly small, you have no leader though. I want a general with siege power, so this is 0.7. It's not too bad. You don't have siege power. Flemish company is actually pretty good, and they have siege power. You have two siege power. That's even better. Let's grab you. No, that's not siege power, sorry, I looked at the wrong spot. Oh, that's you, yeah. You do have two siege power. You're pretty good. Let's hire you. Right here. Arbino got a new cardinal. Uh, merge these together. Yeah. You're right here. Perfect. All right. So what's next to consider? 
Gotta wait for France to do its thing. Just to declare war on the UK. We'll get a crisis eventually about that. The Surrender of Maine. Alright, they did surrender Maine. That's unfortunate. That's the event I was talking about. Instead of going to war with England. That's too bad. What's your... You have only 25k. I might still be able to win against you. One trick I saw was to seize a territory from one of my... Vassals and create Champagne. Which one that was? Is it Ravel here? I want to look at the province, not the thing. No, you don't have that. Is it you? Yeah, you're Champagne. Not sure, not sure. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Royal marriage is very close. Let's keep that up for a second. It's about the speed of three while we wait. We're also waiting for our military tech to come in. Once that comes in, that's probably when we'll declare war on France. New Cardinal and Luca. Here's our royal marriage of Spain. Let's get that done. Now what does that take me to here? 46 of 73. Still have a neutral attitude, which is a bit annoying because we're over 100 um, relations. Austria have a cardinal. Excellent. Let's uh, curry favors here. Actually, we should um, make friends with some of the French vassals. So they have Armagnac, that one, Bourbonnais. What? And Orleans. Let's um, improve relations with Orleans. Money am I making? 1.2. That's good. Oh, Castile will ally now. Perfect. So let's do that. There we go. Let's see who else is interested in being in an alliance. Probably get one more nice alliance. Maybe Milan. Yeah, maybe Milan. Let's do Milan.
Yeah, you don't have anybody that I can't be friends with. Perfect. Now, do I have claims on this territory? I do not. Is it that, that mission tree that I get the claims at? Let's take a look. Yeah, that's here. And I gain claims on Savoy, Provence, and Niza. This stuff here. So I might be able to take these because they're excommunicated. I'm friends with the Emperor. You really like me, Emperor? Kind of like me. Hmm. We'll have to think about that between episodes. This is the first episode in this series. Um, so make sure that you like and subscribe to help the series, show that you love it, so that you like EU4 on the channel, and uh, we'll continue to play Burgundy as we go along. Bit of a slow start because I'm relearning the game, but as I uh, learn more, things will pick up speed, and we'll continue on our way. So hope to see you in the next episode where we continue the adventures of the Grand Duke Philip and uh, the Duchy of Burgundy. See you then!